it is the final game of the regular season. We're going to be taking on the number 50 ranked Kent Bobcats, who is six and five of the season. And we're coming to this game ranked sixth in the nation with a nine and two record. Can we finish this season strong compared to last season? As the Bobcats has an 82 team overall with an 86 rating defense and a 78 overall offense. As we ended up having a bunch of XP from our last crazy highlight match. We ended up putting it towards our coach skill tree. And we ended up upgrading the core category to make it a little bit more easier, especially heading into the future of this team to make it much easier to improve the core ratings, which I feel like is one of the most difficult ratings to boost up first. So. I ended up using the remainder of the XP on our superstar running back and boosted up his speed, which shockingly I was able to get up a bunch of points compared to before. I'm telling you guys, this is the way to go if you really want to upgrade your players a little bit quicker. You might want to focus most of your XP instead of individual players and balance throughout and focus on the coaching skill tree. Now, our defense started out strong. We held them to a four and out. We get our first possession of the game and we're able to punch it in for the first points of the game. Now, back on defense, once again, our defense started out great this match. We hold them to a four and out and yet we have another great punt return that gives us great field position to work with to stretch the lead. We hand it off to our superstar running back on our next possession and we're able to go up 14 to zero. Very next possession as the first quarter is coming to an end. Once again, our defense is playing lights out football. We hold them to four and out, get the ball right back. And we're going to take off with our speedy quarterback. Break a tackle right here on the spin move and almost take it to the crib as we get stuff on the one yard line. Then we end up punching it in on the very next play with our superstar running back with ease going up a three possession lead. So, so far, it's looking like it's going to be a wipeout. As they finally get something going on offense with a big play right here as we miss a tackle. And then second 13 after a sack, we end up hurting the quarterback, which is a game changer. But their backup literally comes in the very next play and makes a great play as he's going to throw a dot pass right here. And then three missed tackles, which leads to a given touchdown for their first points of the game. So, right before halftime, want to try to get some points on the board. They leave pretty much three people wide open. We connect with our superstar running back, and we're able to score right before halftime. Bust the coverage on their end. And then, of course, right before first half finishes, look at this. Their starting running back just embarrasses us right here. We got three guys right here. He breaks one tackle. And then got a great block, and then we just whiff on the next tackle, and then we miss on a user tackle. And I don't know how that happened, but we gave up a very easy touchdown right before halftime. Very devastating, but the Bobcats is having a little bit fight in them. As a second half, we get ball first, and we struggled as Bobcats had locked up their defense on us, and they make us go four and out. And then they get the ball for their first possession in the second half. We make them get to a punt situation, which we end up blocking. So this is a big play to capitalize on our first possession mistake, and we end up punching it in. And then our defense locks up once again, hold them down to another fourth down, which we end up blocking once again. So big plays on special teams for once. We haven't really had great special teams throughout the season. And this match, we are able to capitalize on that. So we're locking up on all three levels of football, which we haven't done basically all season long. Now, we ended up hurting their starting running back. And then that was pretty much it as they took the remainder of time, drove downfield. I was trying my best to stop them, but they drove little by little and they end up scoring with two seconds left, I was kind of mad because I wasn't able to stop them. I mean, they drove all the way downfield, wasting all the time. I mean, they fought for that touchdown, so it was well-deserved that they was able to get it. But we end up winning 
and this is a big win to finish off the regular season much better than last season so we got a little bit more improved compared to last season now it's coming down to where pretty much all hell is going to break loose how are we going to perform in possibly a playoff run before we get there we have to make sure that we win our conference championship game so Throughout the season, I mean, we made a lot of progress, especially um, boosting up our team, trying to keep it balanced. With all these young players that we have, I'm looking forward to, you know, the next couple of seasons. I feel like the dynasty is just going to keep getting better and better. But I was kind of shocked that we was able to finish off the first season with a bow win. Can we reach that next level heading into just our second season? Got to see and find out. As here are the top 25 rankings, we moved up one rank, getting to rank number five. And there's only one undefeated team left as the Pitbulls ends up losing their first game of the season. That was the rank number two team, now ranked number four. I was kind of shocked that they got upset during this week match of the ending of the regular season. And check it out, the Generals bump up to rank 19, so they're working their way back up as a end up falling off for middle of the season which is shocking now the upgrades we went back to the coach skill tree and we continue to unlock just the coaching level to get you know better success at influencing recruits just to make it a little bit more easier when it comes to recruiting now shockingly last season this season we were able to pull off the top prospects in the nation so last season heading into this one we was able to pull the best outside linebacker, which was the best player in the nation. And then for this season, heading into next season, we pulled the best center, which is also the best player in the nation for this year's recruiting. So we done pretty good pulling those two players. Big help for offensive line and defensive linebacking core, which is great. And you guys seen how dominant our top player on the defensive end has been playing this year. I mean, overall, I mean, he's a big help. And then the defense has been a big help as well as locking up a bunch of our opponents. Now, you know, heading into our conference game, we're going to be, you know, ranked number five with a 10 and two record, top rushing in the nation at number one. And then we're ranked 19 in passing. But the team that we're going to be taking on is going to be the middle Michigan Pharaohs. Now we did see them dominate last year in the playoffs. They almost made it all the way through, but they end up failing short. And then this season they started out in the top, pretty much top 10 rankings. And they held their ground until probably more than midway of the season. Then they start to lose, but they're right up there. They're ranked 14 in the nation with the number 10 rushing and number 43 rank passing. So this is our conference championship game, which you guys will see in the next video. Hopefully I can pull out a win and continue on to advance to the playoffs, but this is our go-to to see if we actually improved much more than last season. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I know this match is gonna be a hell match, just like the game before our last game of the regular season. I'm looking forward to it. Until next time, I'll see you guys later, and I'm out. Peace.